So with El Nino, it generally makes a change with the storm track. And so yes. sometimes it's tougher to get the storms in. Some El Nino years we do good and we get a lot of storms in. Some El Nino years we do bad. With the blob, it's directly beside us. This water is a lot warmer than normal. So anytime you get the storm systems moving in, they tend to be warmer and that is terrible for snowpack. So the blob is just bad, bad, bad. We yeah. want to get rid of it. And, and you know, what I you always know. say is people say, God, we make such a big deal out of the weather. But I got to tell you, it is the one news story. That affects everybody, everybody maybe financially, to. making your plan. It's the one news story that affects everybody. And it's fascinating because it's such a new thing, too. So yeah. we still have a lot, a lot to, to learn, learn about it. Mm -hmm. We are getting a lot of snow, though, up on Mount Hey, Hood. you know, the blob is weakening. And take a look at our season right. so far. You know, we're getting a nice little, it's definitely different from last year. It may not be completely normal, but we're getting some snow. Look at this time lapse up here, up at Mount Hood Meadows. And you can see how we've had the snow in and out. We've got a good, gotten a good three to six inches going up that way. And we're continuing to pick up a little bit here and there. In fact, it looks like we're trying to get a little more snow uh, moving on and at least up on top of the mountain there. So definitely some good news and uh, we could be looking at round two uh, shortly. So let's talk about the snow levels today right around 4,000 feet. So you get down to the passes and depending on how up you go, how high up you go, you could be running into trouble right now through government camp. Most of it looks like it's, it's pretty much OK. So uh, at least not as much tricky travel going on there. Uh, we go into tomorrow. Tomorrow stays fairly dry and conditions stay pretty chilly. By Friday, we have another system moving in, and this one is going to be a big rainmaker for many of us, but it looks like the heaviest stuff stays north up into Washington. This is when those snow levels go up, and so we're looking at a 7,500 foot snow level, so that would be rain for the ski resort. So we're hoping that we don't get a whole lot of rain out of this, but the good news is, even if we do, because we probably will get some rain going Friday, even though we are south of Washington, by the time we get into the weekend, we have another cold front that wipes on through. That's going to bring in some heavy precip, and we'll start to see those snow levels lower by Sunday. We're talking snow levels getting closer to 3,500 feet. And then it looks like another system on top of that by early next week could bring in some big time snow for our ski resort. So uh, we're hoping this pans out just right. But as for right now, all eyes on this next system that's going to bring in quite a bit of rain. And you can see where the flood watches have been issued. Uh, this goes until 10 a.m. Sunday, and it is north of Longview. So this is, again, uh, mainly north of most of our metro area, but we are going to get some heavy rain going here too, and it will drop south into the valley, and I'll track it for you here in just one second. 48 degrees out there right now, or a high 55. We got some sunshine going today. It really turned out to be a nice day, and then just in time to finish things out, we had some showers roll through Portland, and we're starting to see a couple more pop up over near Beaverton, and then you can see south on I-205, some showers uh, trying to push through Damascus and into Sandy, and these showers have been developing uh, one right after the other. So it's staying a little bit wetter down in that direction. But once the sun sets, and that's where we are right now, we'll start to lose some of the energy from the day, and a lot of this will start to really fade on out. And look at that, more mountain snow moving in to the Mount Hood area and still a few scattered showers back to the west. But again, everything calming down. So we'll keep rain chances in the forecast for the next couple of hours, and then we're just watching for fog. And fog could develop tonight, and so it may slow you down the roads tomorrow morning. And temperatures are going to drop too. So into the mid-40s by 9 o'clock, it'll be chilly. But by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s along I-5. So make sure you layer up tomorrow. 20s and teens east of the Cascades. Tracking the rain, some spotty rain again for the next couple of hours. That tends to die down. We wake up tomorrow morning, low clouds, fog, showers stay back to the north and west. Thursday, a lot of dry time. That next system moves in. You can see the rain already developing across much of Washington here. We may see a spotty shower by the end of the day for Portland and then places like Astoria up towards Cannon Beach. We may be dealing with a few showers there as well, but everything's going to stay pretty much north for most of Thursday and into Friday. Friday arrives. Here we are Friday morning. We start to see the showers drop a little bit more, and we're watching for shower chances in southwest Washington and into Portland. And then Saturday, again, that's when that big front moves through. We could pick up a good inch of rain that day. And so Saturday looks like it's going to be a wet one, and we all need to prepare for that possibility of dealing with some flooding. Your forecast for tomorrow, spotty showers for the coast. Mainly sunny skies east, highs in the 50s, seven-day forecast, 50s for us, rain developing late Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday look pretty wet for us. Another system Monday, Tuesday will bring in more heavy rain going into okay. a lot of next week. And isn't that interesting? We're starting to see some highs now only in the, the 40s. 40s. <laughs> so it's looking pretty chilly. All right. Yeah. Thanks, All right.